So on last week's episode of The Ones Who Live, the finale, we got a trailer, a two minute preview, and like a little 30 second snippet that showed up. So we have two videos to go over. I found some good things. I also found one concerning thing. I also went back to the trailer that dropped last year to see if I can kind of piece anything together. That was also the trailer that they leaked last year before the finale of the first season of Daryl Dixon even aired. Let's hope they fix a lot of these leaks. We already know that the ones who live had issues with like screeners leaking a lot of stuff. You know, one or two bad people ruins it for all the good people who were like doing what they were supposed to. So we'll see how this next season goes. The two minute clip we're going to talk about first is on YouTube. It's also on AMC+. Plus. The other one, I can only find it through Twitter and it's kind of a grainy looking uh, quality too. But that one has some good details in it. So it's worth it to look at it if you can find it. We open up with Daryl at this gas station. He's hiding behind a wall. We have new people with him and they have this trap set with wires and explosives. These guys could be part of Falou's larger group that we saw. We didn't see everybody, but there was like 60 something people. So maybe it's one of them. I didn't recognize any of them. We see a three person caravan. Two of the Jeeps have soldiers in it. The first one has a Jeanette from the first season in it. And you can see the guy driving has the tattoo, like just like cold drawings in a different fashion. There is this third one that's in the middle though, almost like the two cars are guarding it. And it looks like a big cargo truck. In the area that they're at is a gas station, but in the second 30 second clip, it looks familiar to this area. The only difference is, is that it looks a bit more destroyed in the clip with Daryl. And in the other clip there, you do see Falou, Isabel, and Laurent, and it almost looks like, like something is going down here and they're trying to get away from something. The explosives though, don't go off when they run over the tripwire. So Daryl runs out, they're trying to stop him and he shoots at the car and gets the car to flip. You know, and for whatever reason, Daryl Daryl really wants to get to this little caravan here. Is, is he kind of erratic? Not really. He looks calm and composed, but it's probably not the smartest idea to jump out from your hiding spot and shoot the gun. So what is in this car that he really wants back? I also noticed that the gun that Daryl is shooting with looks very similar to the one that Isabel typically carries around. I tried to go back and compare the guns. They look similar, but like they use all of these like older-ish guns that aren't really used nowadays so it really could be anything. Uh, Sylvie also had sort of a similar gun in the first season so maybe it's hers. They get to this cargo truck and finally go and get the back of it open and there's three people sitting there in the back of the truck and I don't know what Daryl was expecting but whatever was supposed to be in this truck that is what he was really wanting and they're not walkers or anything they're kind of just sitting there they're humans. So, and one of the people has their face AI digitally concealed. So there's a couple of things. Judging by Daryl's face, I don't think anybody in this, the back of this truck is Carol. He doesn't look shocked enough for me for it to be Carol hiding in the back of a truck or kidnapped or anything like that. You know, I figure if he saw his best friend again after so many months on a different continent, he'd probably look a little more shocked to me. Going back to that scene with Falou, Laurent, and Isabel, there is a chance that something happened and maybe Jeanette, you know, took them again like they did last time. You know, Sylvie, I don't, we haven't seen any kind of clips of her either. So maybe she's the one that was taken because he does have two guns. He has a smaller handgun and then he has like the larger, is it a musket? Don't drag me. I don't know what they're called, but he has the longer barreled gun. They're heavily guarding this truck. Are they taking people again for these experiments? You know, we learned in season one that that's why they had the gas station is that they took people from America, took them to France and turned them into science experiments. So what makes these three people so special? And it's definitely not Carol because you, the person that has their face hidden has black boots. And the very next scene is a scene with Carol back at the gas station in America. And you can see her boots that they're brown. They're completely different colors and styles. So it's not Carol in the back of that car. And depending on how they do it, are both of these scenes 
in the same episode. And if Carol's in America, I assume she's in the first episode. Unless they're gonna do something similar like they did with Daryl, how did he get to France? They didn't tell us officially till episode five, you know, in those like flashbacks. So we'll see how they do it. I wasn't mad when they waited until episode five because I ultimately like the reason of how he got there and I thought it was a good reason. So as long as they can deliver on the how Carol got to France thing, I don't mind if they do the same thing again. You know, and Carol Carol rolls up with the motorcycle. She does what she does best and she pretends to be just a helpless little woman looking for someone to help her fix a bike. We have the guy from the first season who was helping uh, Daryl and picked him up on the side of the road. We've got him back. He looks a little suspicious of Carol. He name drops somebody, but you know, Carol kind of plays it off as if she just needs help. You know, he says he can't help her. We see the guy who is absolutely was in the Savior's War with Daryl, the asshole apparently crossbow and then like she picks it up tells him don't move and then we cut scene so we don't have a ton of new information from this two minute clip of Carol we do have some shots in this 30 second snippet again it's not a whole ton but we do have some more information we see Carol at one point who is in France kind of looking around she's around all of these decayed boats she looks like she's alone and then we also have another shot it's a very quick one and this is where the trouble comes in for me. She's standing there with what looks like four people. We can't see their faces but it's what looks like a woman with silver hair and that red burgundy jacket that she always wears and jeans and that's what she was wearing in the motorcycle episode. The problem comes in is that whenever you stop it and actually really look at it because I paused it to see how many people were in the frame. Did I recognize anyone? And I don't initially recognize anyone in that little frame but what I did recognize is some like GT20 2010-ish like level graphics and I'm hoping that's not an indicator of like the budget going down you know I mean on the first once or twice of me watching that clip I didn't notice anything with the graphics but when I slowed it down and stopped it that's when I noticed how poor the graphic was but it's like a really quick like flyby shot too. As they were like filming and getting ready for uh season two they did season two so fast and they're gonna air it this summer which felt very very quick to me. So I was really hoping that the quality of the show was not going to go down. They did a really, really great job. So hopefully they're going to keep that same standard because I like the show, but I like the show because it has good quality, especially compared to like some other stuff we've been watching. And I don't want it to go down. Like AMC will always be the downfall of like any of its shows. I also need to know, are they going to tell us how Carol found this gas station specifically? Because we know from the phone call, she Daryl just said, Says he's near the coast of Maine basically and that's about it and then that's like a pretty big area to go wandering around by yourself into right so we have the 30 second teaser which I think I, I, I kind of enjoy there's these little breadcrumbs that maybe we can piece together so it starts out with a shot of Daryl and Isabel standing they're looking at the nest from far away and we have a voiceover of Isabel saying tell me a story Daryl starts to tell her about a man that left home looking for something again and this is his story, a callback to like the first episode in season one. And that's pretty much all we get. But the sound of like Isabel's voice specifically, she sounds pretty distressed which makes me believe that something bad happened. You know, piecing together where her, Falou, and Laurent are like basically trying to get away from something combined with Daryl really trying to get something back. She potentially, or Laurent potentially, could have like some kind of issues. It could be Sylvie as well could be kidnapped. We don't know like a lot about Sylvie, but like we know just enough about her that it might be sad if she like got kidnapped or died unless they're going because anyone else I feel like wouldn't be as impactful unfortunately like she does have a boyfriend in the first season but then they kind of broke up but really that's the only storyline they gave Sylvie in the first season and going back to Isabel and this like distressed voiceover in the first season she was actually drugged by Quinn her ex-boyfriend Quinn said that she was having bad dreams so he like drugged her so she could fall back asleep which is like 
Don't ever do that, please. Disgusting. So maybe she's having these like dreams again about something. You know, whenever they mentioned it in the first season, I kind of thought maybe it was going to come back at some point or at the very least she was going to talk about it. So maybe she has this like uh, dreams and she can't sleep and I don't know. Like we've seen Daryl and Isabel not be afraid to share close quarters. So like maybe there's something in their travels. They like maybe this comes up again. I would not be opposed to that. That sounds like a very sweet scene to watch. Isabel was an addict pre-apocalypse. So maybe she was trying to like suppress something like trauma that happened to her. And now that she's in the apocalypse, she's sober and there's nothing to keep that stuff away. So maybe she has to deal with it and she just can. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff they can do with the storyline. I am already interested. What is this voiceover? Because The Walking Dead can be notorious for just placing wa uh, voiceovers, which have nothing to do with any kind of scene that you're looking at. So we'll see. We'll see. Norman, you've got me hooked already. In that opening scene, we also see Daryl who has arrows on his back is what it looks like. They're not the crossbow arrows, but it looks like those homemade arrows that we got in like season 10 and 11 that like Carol used to always shoot. So, and like Falu, he has those same arrows too. So we're getting closer to Daryl back with the crossbow. Genuine question, does pe do people really care about Daryl with the crossbow? I thought I might miss it a little bit, but I don't really care. Like, I feel like I'm ready for Daryl to be like, I'm ready for a change, right? You know, the crossbow, the vest, all of this stuff is like classic Daryl, but that's like walking dead Daryl. Like I'm ready for Daryl Dixon, Daryl Dixon and what they're going to offer too, right? I remember in last year's Comic-Con, you know, Norman Rees mentioned even cutting Daryl's hair. Like I'm even ready for like a Daryl haircut. Like give this man like a new weapon, give him a new pair of underwear, get that baby like a new haircut let him like live his best life let's let's just completely change everything in my humble opinion you know like he's still the same guy with a haircut or without a vest he's still Daryl no matter what right yeah the only shot we have of Laurent is him and Daryl walking away from what looks like the nest the entrance I don't know what they're doing but they're going somewhere I do kind of hope that they pick up season two right where they left off where Daryl's on the beach looking at Laurent I kind of want to see like a zombie fight of him getting back to Laurent. Maybe Laurent could like kill another walker. Maybe get his uh, fighting skills up. I do want kind of want Isabel to be upset with Laurent a little bit because he literally went cross country in the walkers to go find Daryl, a man that was supposed to go back to America. Like that should make your mother or your surrogate mother a little bit mad. And Isabel has been this very like chill, subdued person for the most part. She doesn't really get erratic and mad. And like maybe seeing that, I don't know, just give me a different dynamic to Isabel. We do have a voiceover that at the very end of it, it's Carol saying, come with me. So who is she saying, come with me to? Wouldn't it be a gag if it was like Carol asking Ezekiel to like come with her or something? I know he doesn't do it, but wouldn't that be crazy? I would like to see Carol leaving the Commonwealth at some point, you know, and like I always think that her and Ezekiel are going to come back together at some point. So maybe that can work out. I'm very excited for Daryl Dixon season two. I'm going to talk about every little detail as it comes out. Let me know your theories down below too. I'm very interested to see what everyone has came up with. You know, how is Carol going to get there? Like, is Daryl going to stay in France after season two? What country are they going to go to? What continent are they going to go to next? Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you very soon.